Refreshing Stories My name is Hiroshi, and I work in the sales department at a company that requires me to go on many business trips. My wife, Natsu, also works full-time. We're both working hard and saving up while we can. Once we have enough savings, Natsu plans to stay at home. Natsu's a realist, and for her, marriage is not the goal of a romantic relationship. She thinks that it's more practical for two people to spend the rest of their lives together and support each other financially. Sometimes I get the impression that Natsu is a little frosty, but we got along well, and we rarely fought with one another. One day, Natsu was on the train on her way back home from work. As usual, she was watching her favorite comedian on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry for being loud. I was just watching a funny video on my phone. I know what you mean. I always have to stop myself from laughing out loud, too, when I'm watching funny videos. These videos are addictive. Ooh, I love him too! He's so funny! He is! He's one of my favorite comedians. As a child, I loved fairy tales. And so when I watch his videos, he makes me remember the good old days. I totally understand what you mean. I feel the same way. I would love to continue our conversation, but I need to get off at the next train station. It was nice talking to you. Enjoy the rest of your evening! Good night! I didn't even get to ask for her name. She was so fun to talk to and beautiful. She might be the one I'm destined to be with. This romantic guy on the train that Natsu happened to talk to is Koki. He's my friend, and we were classmates in college. We work for the same company, so now we know each other really well. If we see each other at work, we catch up and see how we're both doing. Hey, Hiroshi! What's up, Koki? I think I met the woman that I'm supposed to marry. Who's the lucky girl? I don't know her name yet, but we had a nice conversation on the train yesterday about some funny YouTube videos. We like the same things! Hmm... So you fell for a complete stranger? Like, love at first sight? I know it sounds crazy, but I really think she's the one for me. When our eyes met, I knew that it was fate. She's not like any other woman that I've met before. What makes her so different? I'm destined to spend the rest of my life with her. I just know it in my heart. What's she like? Well, she's stunning for one, and we like the same content on YouTube. I'm sure that she was also looking for a man like me to marry. I feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. Aren't you being a little dramatic? My heart tells me that she's the one. I'm sure that she's feeling the same way towards me, too. I'm going to take the same train as I did yesterday to see if she'll be on that train tonight as well. If she has feelings for me, too, she'll probably think in the same way. Good luck, Koki! That evening, Koki took the train home as planned. It's nice to see you again! Why, hello! I had a feeling that we'd bump into each other again. This must be fate. I feel that our fairy tale will one day be published on YouTube. What do you mean? Us meeting is the start of a new journey for us. I fell in love with you the moment that we met. Will you please marry me? I'm sorry, but I hardly know you. Well, we have all the time in the world to get to know each other better. I'm not going to give up on this love. We just happen to think that the same video was funny. That's all. We have nothing in common. Most great love stories begin with a meeting of two people by chance. This is our destiny, and we should embrace it. I'm sorry, but I don't feel the same way. Well, I'll see you again tomorrow. Same place, same time. There was a weird guy in the train today. He wouldn't leave me alone. Oh no, that's freaky. Are you alright? All I want to do is talk, but it was kind of creepy. He suddenly confessed his love for me and asked me to marry him. Isn't that just crazy? He's a complete stranger. What a weirdo. Well, if you see him again and he starts saying those things to you, we may want to notify the police just to be safe. For now, I think that I have the situation handled, but I'll let you know if I need your help. Thank you. He didn't seem like a dangerous person, just a little stupid. Well, I'll come to your rescue if he doesn't leave you alone. He seems like a creep. Hiroshi! I have some good news! I saw her again yesterday, and I feel like I'm a little closer to her than I was before. Good for you, Koki. Do you think she has romantic feelings for you? Yeah, she definitely does. I can tell. We're going to see each other on the train again tonight. If she's on the same train again, that means that she doesn't hate me, right? I guess, but don't get your hopes up too high. I'm sure she'll be in the same place as yesterday. I can see the love for me in her eyes. You're one happy guy. I don't know what Natsu was thinking, but she took the same train as yesterday on her way home from work. And she did the same for the days that followed. It was as if she wanted to see Koki. And as time passed, they actually became close. When I was on my business trips, she would go out with Koki in secret. Yes! Today's date is going well so far! After the movie, I'm going to take her to see the Christmas lights, and then ask her to officially be my girlfriend.
The movie was fun, wasn't it? It was okay. It wasn't as good as I expected it to be, though. You didn't like the plot? It was another typical love story. The movie only showed the good sides of being in love. There's much more to an actual relationship. It's not always fun, and it can be messy. I see. Why are you so committed to love? Don't you worry that I might not be able to give you what you're looking for? I just want to enjoy my time with you, that's all. I'm happy when we're together. Just to let you know, I don't need a boyfriend. Yes, I figured. I understand. I think. Hiroshi! What's wrong, Koki? Did something bad happen with a girl of your dreams? It kind of did. She says that she doesn't want a boyfriend. Well, if you enjoy spending time with her, do you really need to define the relationship? I do. I want to know what this is. I was going to ask her to be my girlfriend the other day, but now that I know how she feels, I can't. But she is willing to date you, right? Maybe she wants to get to know you better before making it official. Maybe she's waiting for you to make a grand romantic gesture. You have a point. I hadn't thought about that. Be a man. Tell her how you feel about her. Thank you for the advice, Hiroshi. I know what I have to do now. I'm rooting for you. I had no idea that the woman that Koki fell for was my wife, Natsu. That's why I was rooting for their love. Natsu, I can't deny my feelings for you any longer. I promise to make you happy for the rest of your life. Koki, you don't have to do this. Don't look at me with those loving eyes. My love for you is real. You don't have to be afraid. I don't want to spend another minute away from you. Actually, there's something that I need to apologize to you about. What is it? I'm actually married. What? I'm sorry for lying to you all this time. I know you're serious about me, which made it difficult for me to tell you. I'm so sorry. I see. But I love you anyway. Really? I have a thing for housewives. Koki! So you're not mad? That we can continue to see each other? Even if you're married, you're still Natsu. Nothing's changed. You're still the love of my life. Koki, you're still sweet! It kind of sucked for me, but Koki and Natsu officially started dating from this day forward. Koki came to see me to deliver the good news. Hiroshi! Everything went well, thanks to you! So she said yes to being your girlfriend then? Yep, and I have you to thank for that. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you. I could so cry happy tears right now. Take good care of your girl. But there is one thing. It turns out that she's married. Do you mean divorced? No, still married. In that case, I can't be happy for you, man. It's just not right. She only told me this yesterday. But it's too late. I'm already in love with her. Are you crazy? You can't have an affair with a married woman. I know that, but... I'm kind of hoping that she'll leave her husband for me. You're being completely selfish here. You don't even know what kind of a husband she's married to. For all we know, he could be a really nice guy. We're not in high school, and marriage is a big deal. Do you understand? It's a forbidden love. Okay, so you're not getting the point here. I wanted Koki to wake up and smell the coffee, but I had another business trip to go to. I'm off, Natsu. What do you want me to bring back as a gift? Anything that you choose for me will be great. Okay. Natsu saw me off as usual. By evening, I had arrived at the hotel that I was supposed to spend the night in. But just as I was falling asleep, I heard some voices from the room next to mine. Why are you so beautiful? I'm not sure, but I think that I was born this way because I was destined to fall in love with you. I knew it. Fate brought us together. Jeez. Stupid lovers. Can't they keep it down? It's the middle of the night. The lovers in the next room wouldn't keep it down, so I decided to complain to them in person. Young people these days, they don't have any manners. This hotel is used mainly for business. They should have stayed somewhere more romantic. Knock, knock! Please, open the door! Yes? Hiroshi, what are you doing here? What? The person who answered the door was my wife, Natsu! I was in shock! I'm sorry, we're busy. Please come back another time. Natsu, I saw you! Open the door! What's going on? Who is it? My husband is standing in front of our door. What? How did he find us? I have no idea. Did he follow us? This isn't good. What are we gonna do? What do you want, Koki? Now is a really bad time for me. I need your help. It's an emergency. I can't help you. I'm in an emergency myself. You don't understand. My girlfriend's husband followed us to our hotel, and he's standing in front of our door now! He wants us to open the door, and he's really pissed off! Huh? Why do I hear your voice outside my door? 
I hope that I'm wrong about this. But does your girlfriend happen to be my wife? Natsu? That can't be! No! This can't be happening to me! <laughs> Koki! How can you do this to me? Natsu? Your husband is Hiroshi? Do you guys know each other? We do! In fact, we work for the same company! We even went to the same college! Koki, what you did is unforgivable! Hiroshi, I'm so sorry! I had no idea! Had I known, I'd never have gone out with Natsu! This is why I told you not to have an affair! Someone always gets hurt, usually the good guy! Please forgive me! Hiroshi, I think that this is all a big misunderstanding. You cheating on me is a misunderstanding? And you had to cheat on me with my friend? How wonderful for me! We had no idea. We didn't mean to hurt you, Hiroshi. Well, you do know that you're married to me, right? I guess I didn't really understand what being married meant. Are you stupid? Shall we get divorced then? Wait, do we have to decide now? I can't deal with you guys anymore! It was just a bling. It didn't mean anything to me. I don't think so. Koki's been telling me all about you since the day he met you. You can't make any excuses for what you've done. Well, if it makes you happy, I'll jump out the hotel window now. Not to wait! I'm coming with you! I won't let you two get away with this. I don't need you to die for your crimes, but I expect some sort of settlement. You better pay up! After I came home from my business trip, the three of us talked things over. Koki borrowed some money and paid me $25,000 for the damages. Then he quit his job and disappeared. I can't believe that Koki got away! That bastard! As for Natsu, she begged for my forgiveness and asked me to take her back. But I got my divorce lawyer to let her know that it was over between us. She agreed to divorce me, and in return, I allowed her to stay at the house until she found a new place to live. After Natsu finished paying the alimony payments to me, she left without saying goodbye. I had no idea where she went. A few years later, I heard a rumor that Koki had gotten married. It seems that he had gotten over Natsu and fallen in love with someone new. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!